Hey guys, welcome back to uh, the three year challenge with Arsenal. Uh, <clears throat> God, I'm, I'm snorting then. Sorry, I've got a bit of energy drink stuck in the back of my throat and it kind of made me do one of those throat snort things. Um, it's been a while since I've, I've recorded this per usual because I've been playing, um, doing a youth story thing with Burton Albion. So if you haven't checked that out, please do. Uh, if you're also enjoying this series or are new to the channel, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to see if I can get to 300 subs by the end of the year, so if anyone can help me with that, I would be muchly appreciated. Uh, we're in January, and I've gone. I've added some players to my shortlist. I will show you in a second. Um, pardon me, I don't even know. I don't even remember how much money I've got. 48 million. Okay, so I might be able to buy one. <clears throat> Basically, I've been playing a lot of Ultimate Team and I've got some decent players on there and I've decided that I want to see if I can bring a couple of them into this squad. So I've got, I'm sure this is the guy, Owasu, Owusu. I've got his, uh, I can't remember what card it is, but I've got a uh, special card of his. So I wouldn't mind bringing him, but he's been scattered at the minute. Then there's Hoffman. I know he's on a bit and he's 79. But I've got him as a team of the week and he is bloody awesome. When I bring him on as a substitute, he slots into that, like, I, I use him as a central midfield because I play like my 4-3-3. Um, actually, it'd be easier if I show you. Oh, no, I need to have to back out. I'll, I'll, if I remember, I'll, I'll show you guys my ultimate team uh, to show you what I mean. But I've got him and I bring him on as a substitute around the 70th minute and he just like slots in perfectly. Then obviously I've got Paul Sick. Um, I've got his special card and I love him. I rotate him and Jota all the time on that left wing. They're both brilliant. Uh, next up is Anthony. I've got his special card. Uh, I think I'm be I think he's been scouted. Um, and this guy is immense. I can't take anything away from him. I really do like him. And then in defence I have Laporte and one Bissaka. I have. Um, Wan Bissaka is a defender uh, in pairing him up with Laporte because I've got Laporte's foot uh, card, that red card, and these two together are actually quite brilliant. So I wouldn't mind bringing them into defence, but obviously I can only afford one. And then I've also got, I don't know if I added him to my shortlist, I hope I did. Obviously, there's uh, Jota, who I'd love to bring on that left side. And I don't think I've got the other guy. I have a feeling I only asked him to be scattered. I'll be back in a second. There we go. I only added him to start. The other card, uh, player that I've got is Mbabu as my right back. But at the minute I've got Uwasu because he links better up with Anthony and he gives Anthony better chemistry. But <coughs> Mbabu was my first choice. Right back if possible. Um, and I've got his special card as well. So I've got him being scouted. Oh damn it. Barcelona. Oh he's just signed for Barcelona. So I might not be able to get him. That would be why he's in the Barcelona top and not in his other top. But I've got him. <laughs> uh, so these are the players that I wouldn't mind bringing into the squad if possible. And then obviously I've got Arthur's card now as well which is interesting. But I, ne I never play him. Um, so there's some players that I wouldn't mind bringing into this first team. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to have a look at the squad just to see if there is anyone that I could bring in now just to replace. Hmm. Okay, so I don't think I'll be able to bring them in like I need a defender because I'm happy with Tamori and Gabriel. And slotting them into that team wouldn't make much sense. Um, I wouldn't mind. See, I've got Saka and Martinelli and I've got Doku and I've still got to figure out why Doku's name's familiar to me. Um, but Martinelli and Saka are my wingers. Martinelli is the weak one there, but he's showing some decent skill why he should be in that first team. But I think if I have Jota or Pulsic there, that would just make that that left side more stronger. And then if I am able to get... Uh, I wouldn't wait till the scout report comes back, I think, before I sign anyone. But I want to see that right. So it's basically in the first team, a left winger and a right back that I want to change at the moment. And then... So then I can add both of them two into this squad. So we will see actually. I'll wait until the scout reports come back and then see where I go from there. But I think I'm, I'm torn between Jota and Pulisic at the minute, who I want to sign in that left wing. Right, it's a, uh, a big. Oh, look, there's Laporte there as well. <laughs> it's a big game at the minute against Man City. So ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of nervous. What are they playing? 4 3 3 false. Interesting. That's interesting how they've got Torres and he uh, Gabriel Jesus. Jesus. Baby Jesus. How they've got them two swapped around, isn't it? Although, saying that, I've been seeing a lot of people on Ultimate Team 
play Gabriel. Uh, I'm just going to call him Jesus because that's what it is, isn't it? Jesus, not Jesus. Well, it is Jesus, but I'm just going to call it Jesus. And I've seen a lot of people playing him on the right wing, which is very interesting. I just want a heads up to give you a heads up, guys. <clears throat> on um, my Burton career mode, I have been struggling. I haven't won a game for so long. It, it's really annoying. And I don't know if that is because I've, um, I'm playing like a youth squad in League One and the rating's so low. Uh, so I don't know if that's going to carry on over to this one, this career mode. But on other news, in Ultimate Team, I'm doing really well. So I don't know if it is because I'm just playing um, a low rated squad in a division that they shouldn't really be in that I'm struggling. I'm hoping it is and that my, what's the word? I can't think of the word. My, not skill, um, not luck, my form, in form I guess, my form will carry over from ultimate team to this career mode, fingers crossed. I've learned some new stuff as well, like I'm probably, like, I, oh. my, I need to change my custom tactics to more what I'm playing as now, because I've done it, I've, since I've been playing Ultimate Team, I've been learning custom tactics and player instructions and stuff, so I think I need to update what I've set everyone as, uh, oh my god, nope, my luck's carried over. The stupid. I can see stupid goals like this all the time. Like there's one I've just I've just recorded a Burton career mode before this, and my goalkeeper, the ball went past him, and then the ball's in the back of the net, and then he decides to dive, and I'm not even lying. He's literally dived after the ball has bulged the back of the net. It's oh, so frustrating. It looks like my goalkeeper's skill is carrying over, but as I was saying before, I was interrupted. I've learned some new stuff like some player controlling a few useful techniques that hopefully if I can remember to do uh, we'll carry over shame I've learned like how to do a better one two passing I've been practicing some corners on ultimate team which seem to be working um, and I've learned this new well I say I've learned this new simple skill it's uh, probably one that everyone knows it's basically defend if you run at everyone with them on oh my god it, no my form's carried over we don't want to watch this uh, <laughs> I'll show you now so you can see so basically what you do is you just run and make sure the play is on your left and if you just hold L2 and press R1 L2 and R1 why is he not doing it there we go do I have to do oh, I have to double tap it okay it kind of shields the ball and knocks it on I thought it was just tap up well, I guess it kind of is tap like also with my Burton career mode it is absolutely bonkers we're bottom of league one at the minute right and uh, I think we've got like something like 13 points. We've got the worst defence in the league, but ironically, we're the highest scoring team in the league. And my youth scat, my youth striker, is top of the take the league scorers at the minute with like 20 goals, I think, maybe 21 at the minute. Yet we, we've got the crappiest defence. It, it's the whole thing's crazy. I don't understand what's going on. And like until recently, my rating was in the 90s, and we've been bottom for a while. And it's just dropped down to 77 because I failed a couple of board options. Like, I've been knocked out of the FA Cup and getting there. And not only have I been knocked out of the FA Cup, um, what's the other one? Because I can't get the weight, not the weight, the, the uh, player age to an average of around 28. Because obviously they're all like 16, 17. So I think the average age at the minute is something like 18, 19, possibly. Because uh, I've still got a couple of older players that I need to get rid of. Uh, I've, I've, I'm not going to make that objective. I want They want me to finish mid-table, but I'm probably going to get relegated. The other one is to reduce the player wages by 15%. And it's currently at zero. But I, I'm guessing, because I've got rid of all, most of the um, most of the senior squad and replaced them all with you, so I'm going to get that. So like my rating's all over the place at the minute. It's funny. And it's just making me laugh. I'm, I don't know whether I'm going to get sacked or have a pay rise for... For doing certain stuff. So anyway, it's so different playing with a squad that actually know how to pass a ball and whatnot. Saka, get in. We are back. See, I know how to score goals. I can score no problem. It's just defending. The keepers seem to be doing some stupid things. One thing that I am trying to stop doing, which I can't seem to do yet, is to stop pressing L1 when I'm defending and use the. Um, there we go. Saka's free. 
used the right analog stick to swap to a, the correct defender, but my brain just keeps pressing L1. It's like instinct, so I can't. I need to get used to not doing that because when I'm on ultimate team, obviously that's going to be real useful, and I think it'd be good for career mode as well. But I just can't. It's instinct. I just press L1 automatically in defense, and I need to stop doing it because I know that the uh, the secondary player indicator can change in just like any second, like how it's doing there. And I, I, I want to press L1. Oh, nearly. Another, right, another thing that I've been practicing is if I show you my corners. So one thing that's been working for me in Ultimate Team is so I switch to receiver, move the ball up to about, roughly about there, hold it down to about two power bars, move my player to about there, lose the runner, run in, and then norm, 9 out of 10 times, well I say 9 out of 10, it's more like 7 out of 10, it works for me. I just need to practice the technique. I need What I need is a target man who's got a good header, and I don't think David has that, so I, I think... I don't think there's anyone in my scout list. I mean, Paul Six not header. He's a winger. Jolton might be. What I need is a defender. I need Tamori really to be that that um, man marker, not that man marker, the receiver in the corner. And the beat. What can? Oh, bloody hell! I got bulldozed there. Although the port might be a good one if I get the port. Well done, Tenari. Pass there. Returns. Look at that space that Saka's got. There you go, Tomasu run. Right, get that cross. We've got the cross. Although, I think Thomas Partey might be good. I'll have to have a look who's got the best heading accuracy. Right, track my man. I was tracking it. See, I don't like how it switches automatically when I'm tracking a player. It's one thing I don't like that I wish. I, I know I, I should take it off because you can. But, like, the it's useful because sometimes... I f freaking know that was close. Sometimes I forget to press L1 and it goes to the wrong place. So it, it has its uses. I just hate it when it does it when you're trying to track a player. It would be useful if it was just more for like corners or whatnot. But when you're tra physically tracking a player and then it swaps, it's just like, no. Control, shoot, shoot, Smith. Oh! Oh my god, that was a poached goal. What a poach. That was Smith Rose goal, and Jonathan David just headed that, like just crouched down and dunked it. I don't think, I think Smith Rose just there smiling politely for Cameron. But watch this for a steal. Is that Smith Rose goal? Oh, it come off his knee. <laughs> oh, okay, m maybe Smith Rose wouldn't have scored then. <laughs> that is a pure poacher's goal. Accident. Oh, freaking hell. There's. Edison's neck was twisted round then by the looks of things. Jeebus. 11 goals in 12 matches. I still think this is the best signing I've ever made. What I wish there was an instruction to do um, is that to play triangles. I know he just... Oh, freaking out. Is he going to send him off straight away? No, no point. Another thing that I've done, again, if we switch to receiver, so who am I? Parte, you will do. So if I go to about there... Let's say, ready, three, two, one, and running, go. Let's dunk it, let's dunk it. Oh, it nearly worked. That's another one. I've been, I've been practicing swapping to receiver. So, where? Our party's taking my corners. That would be why. Um, I'm going to let Saka take the corner. Uh, I think Partey's number five, isn't he? So, if I put that about there. Uh, right, let's go, let's run, let's run, we're running, we're running. It worked! Oh my god, the tactic worked! Bloody hell. It worked, guys, I can't believe that. It freaking worked. What a goal, what a header. And that come from a corner. What a comeback! But look at this, nice little... Right, so I need to change uh, Saka to my corner taker. And then switch the receiver to Partey. And boom. Get him to run in and just throw that head. Look at all that space it's created as well. With everyone stood on the outside of the box. Mwah, magnifique. What? Martinelli's release clause. So I want to let you know that Los Lily have agreed to pay 32 million to release clause for McGrabby and Martinelli. They are about to start negotiating purchase with the player. As you know, this means any soon to the rest of the player gets free to remain at what? I want to think you need to look at offering a remaining consumer. Sure we need 32 
What? Okay, this has made my choice for me then. If they've met Martinelli, what's his what's his value at the minute? Uh, where are you, Martinelli? Martinelli, where are you, Martinelli? So he's twenty six point five. Hmm. If that goes through. I'm going to go buy Jota, I think, or pulse it, one or the other. I don't know which one. So that'll be what? Around 80 million. Yeah, shit. That'll be at least 80 million. Well, minus what we get. So imagine we get like 26. So that'll be six. Okay, so it'll be more 70 billion. Um, but still. Hmm, that is interesting. So. Unless, oh no, Anthony's only right wing. So. Paul Sick, it's a shame that he's injured all the time. But I'm I'm a huge like I keep saying, I'm a huge fan of Jota. His ability and whatnot in Ultimate Team, 43. I could do it. I could. What's Paul Sick's value? 41. So they're both around the 40 mark, and he's got an 86 million release clause. So they're not going to I don't think Chelsea will release him. So I, I do think then that Jota could be my next signing. I mean, the, last year's ultimate team, the amount of finesse shots I scored with him was unreal. It, and then I scored a few with him as well now in this ultimate team, but not as many. But him pelting down that left wing is brilliant. Okay, so Ajax want to sign Callum Chambers. Right, so Chambers is my right back. But then again, if I buy the other guy, uh, Mbabu, then potentially... Could go. Hmm. Seven million. He's twenty-six. You know what? I'm gonna see if I can get ten million for him. If I can get ten million, then I will let him go. No problem. Uh, but I don't want to accept anything less than ten. Uh hold skip. Propose new transfer field. We want ten. Uh, let's see what they say. We certainly want San James, but 860 is the best we can offer. Uh, is that Sean Dyke? So if they want to offer that, I want to sell on clause of 4%. Let's see what they say. Okay, so they're happy to pay 8.6 plus 4%. So if that goes through, we shall see. So potentially, this FA, because I'm going to play the youth squad in the FA Cup. Um... This could be his final game against Bristol City. <laughs> or not. Okay, so he doesn't want to leave. That's fine. Oh, no. Uh, following Balogun is a short line move. Chances the player joining. Okay, okay, that's fine. Martinelli's gone in. They've given me 27. Okay, so I guess that's made my choice for me then. So Martinelli has gone from the first team. So Idaho's moved up. That's fine. Uh, so how much money have we got now? 76 million. Wowzer, wowzer. So I really do want to sign. Jota, Jota, come to me, my Jota. What should we get, Nabry? No, I want Jota. Jota's the one that I want. Only on daily. Nope, Jota. Jota, Jota. Where are you, Jota? Jota, Jota. I think I've gone past you. I wish I would show you how long the scout report they have left, like in here as well. Where, where am I? Am I blind? Where's Jota? There you are. So, if I go to approach to buy, I think I'm going to offer him 45 mil and just see what they say to that. Offer transfer free. Feels weird being able to offer this amount of money because I've never had really this amount. I know I did that Man United career mode, but I'm always used to like. Championship. Whoa, okay. I, I guess I won't be going for Jota then. Hmm. That's a, I might try Anthony. Like, I don't think I'll be able to afford Paul Sick. Uh, not at 51, especially with that release clause. They're going to want around 70 again, aren't they? Uh, in, I'm going to try Anthony. Let's see if I can pick him up. I'm going to offer. Damn it. I should have done the. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't realise he played for Ajax. I should have done the player swap, shouldn't I? To see if they wanted to swap him. Chambers and a little bit of money because now I'm going to offer around 25 mil for him, which will probably be overpayment. But it's fair fee of one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Let's see what they say to that. Submit. So, okay, they value him higher than 25. 
<laughs> Who next? Who's next? Who's next? Uh, Veronzo, 26. He's got a lot. Speed Ribbler and Outsider Foot Shot. Interesting. I'm going to leave it for now. So I want to see the scout report come back on Anthony first. See what he's wearing. Oh my god, that was close. Hopefully, uh, oh he's offside anyway, that's lucky. Hopefully, Arsenal will do better in here <coughs> than they did this weekend against uh, uh, Forest in the FA Cup. Although I can't talk much because Derby got knocked out by Coventry, but to be fair, we don't really need the FA Cup. At the, I mean, the, the money would have been nice to help us with our debt, but at least we can focus now purely. There we go. Shoot. Oh, I thought that was a goal then. But, um,. At least now we can focus on surviving in the championship, which I still believe we can do. I don't know if I've mentioned this in this uh, career mode at all, but I still stand by that Derby will survive um, to the championship. Especially now, because apparently, uh, when was it? I think it was Thursday or Friday, Rooney did his press conference. And apparently there's a potential buyer that could be announced later this week. He's allowed to renew contracts of players that are running out. So we've still got Jaggy Elka, Kazim Richards, uh, Ravel Morrison, etc. Oh, and also, apparently there's a... I keep saying apparently. He's got a sign He's working on a signing, which will hopefully be announced later this week as well. So it's all looking quite decent. I know uh, we had Chris Kirchner, who was meant to be signing the club. And all last, late last year... And early this year, he was all taught that he was going to sign it. And then he's, he's had to pull out. So I think he put an offer in, uh, show, showing the administrators that he had money, but and he put an offer in. But I don't think they considered it enough. From what I've heard, I don't know the exact amount, but apparent, again, apparently, Mike Ashley, uh, he's put in an offer around 50 million, uh, or he's going to put an offer in of 50 million to sign both Derby and buy Pride Park back from Mel Morris. So if he's offering 50 million, and I think Kirchner, Kirchner might have offered a bit less, so maybe around 30 to 40 million, which the administrators thought won't get them out, won't, is worth it, but um, they want to hold out for a higher bidder, which could be Mike Ashley. <coughs> and I know that Newcastle fans and everyone else is laughing and saying that they wouldn't wish him on anyone, but as a businessman, he knows what he's doing so yes fair enough um he did terrible at newcastle but newcastle are in the premier league and they they want to push for um premier league don't they in champions league whereas derby we just want to survive and rebuild so whereas it's a different thing i know newcastle were, were in the um the championship a few years ago when mike ashley was owner and they got promoted straight away. They won the league, I think, twice. Was it both times they were down? Oh, my God, Vyman is dangerous. Ever since he moved to Bristol from Derby, he's been very dangerous, Vyman has. Um, so, yeah, so he got Ars not Arsenal, Newcastle promoted again. So he could be what Derby need, just to steal the books, not to um, like overspend and buying players for a push, because we, we need to rebuild. I don't think we should push. That's where we've gone wrong for... How the frick do you concede that? That's where we've gone wrong for these past few years, is we've spent money on players to push for, for promotion and failed, and it's cost us, and we've just thrown money, and it hasn't worked. What we need is to build a squad, which Rooney is doing. I don't know if, you've, if anyone follows our youth guys, our youth academy, or our under-21s and 23s, but they are bloody brilliant. So hopefully, with the right money and the right guidance and not overspending, just spending where it needs to be, we'll be able to uh, get stability, which is first and foremost, and then in a couple of years, just push for promotion. Oh, well done, Deku. And one of our academy prospects scored for Liverpool yesterday. Uh, Cade Gordon scored against, was it Shrewsbury that played in the FA Cup? So we, we do have one of the best academies in the world, and hopefully with uh, a steady backing, we'll be able to produce talent that will be able to slot into the first team. So don't, it, the, some of the players that have come from the academy and have been playing this season, uh, Dylan Thomas, Luke Plange, um, Jack Stratton, all from the academy and all bloody brilliant. So there, there, there is hope in the, in the mist. We've just got to hold on. 
I did the wrong skill move then. I wanted to do the turn, not whatever it was he did. Because, like, right, doing a, a U turn from right to left on the analog stick does that uh, faint dribble and then allows you to step out. And it didn't work, it did something else. Oh my god! What the freak? I had that then. I controlled that, and out of nowhere, this bullet header comes. Son of a bitch. Where did he come from? It's like that John Terry dive that, that he did that time. Surely Aaron Ramsdale should have saved that. Is it Vyman? Yep. Vyman, man. I tell you, since he left RB, he's become quite the player. I don't know how they scored that, because the west, the wet, the whistle, the whistle should have blown further up north, up north, up the pitch. I don't know how and why they scored that. Well, that was embarrassing, <laughs> but I don't mind. It, it would have been nice to have a cup run, but this uh, season isn't about doing a cup run. It's about building the squad up ready for next season. So you know, it's not too bad, I guess. Plus, we beat Man City, so it, it's you know swings and roundabouts. Uh, Monloose. Who's Monloose? I'm going to accept that. I don't know who you are, so I'm just going to accept that. Uh, hey, finally, some scout reports. Leroy Awusu. Okay, so. They're all scouted. Good. Okay, so. Jota. Wow, 45 million. And he's got a wage of 16,000. Okay, good to know. Uh, Leroy Usu, 1,000. Oh, he's only 65 rated. 66. And Membabu's 80 rated. And he's 20 million. Okay. Interesting. So I, I could potentially sign those two, and that would be on my money gone. So I won't sign you. Um, but I'll definitely look at you two. So. Okay. So I think then I'm going to go ahead and see if I can sign him. And I'm going to offer. They wanted Chambers. Chambers was slow in that last game. So maybe if I offer Chambers uh, the fullback, Callum Chambers, so what's what, 6.5, uh, and if I offer them, I might as well go for the 45, haven't I? Let's see what they say to that. Sure, they want 60, uh, proposed new transfer fee. See if I can get that down to 50. Can that's our price? Okay, so we're gonna have to end that because I don't want to pay 60 for him. That is a lot of money. Uh, so that's fine, I guess. So, still, maybe I should just go for Trey tra or Taney's right middle striker. What? And you know what? I might just go for this guy, Herving Lozano. I've never used him before, but his name seems familiar. I think I'm, I might have him as a card. So I'm gonna approach to buy. He's what 26, so he's around the same age. Uh, approach to buy. I'm going to offer, let's say, around 30 mil for him. What's his value, actually? I forgot already. I wasn't paying attention. So he's valued at 26. So, yeah, so offer transfer fee. Part of the bit, let's go for 30. Submit offer. They're willing to let him go for 11. And Smith Row. Smith Row's worth. Although, if I if I let Smith Rowe go, I wonder if they'll just do a swap for swap. If they do a swap for swap, then I'm I'm happy with that. I know Smith Rowe's good, but I've I've got if they do a swap for swap, I know I'm losing out on a million. But 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 um I might be able to swear it if I went for a cent going yeah, add ten. They want a, why can't I have a, a, te, a ten percent? I'm gonna remove exchange, remove selling clause. Pro's new transfer fee, and I'm going to offer 35. Let's go for that. Yes, they're happy for that. Boom, get in. They must rate him highly then if they want 30. If, if they were after that, and what's he on? He is on 69. Oh, 69. <laughs> and negotiate. So if I offer him first team or crucial, as it's called nowadays. Nowadays, when I was, oh, we were at the fence. Look at them pairs. 
Uh, are you anyone that's important? Okay, that's in interesting. So I might be able to, let's go for four years. Uh, describe a release clause. Okay, I'm, I'm not bothered, but I'm happy for that. So accept that. Okay, so they're happy for that. And then I think I'm gonna sign Mbabu as well. Uh, so they want around 20 mil for him. That's perfect. That is, oh, cancel, what's his, uh, Oh no, I'm not paying 47 million, sod that. Uh, approached by, uh, no, begin negotiations with the club. So if I, I'm gonna offer them 21 million. Offer transfer fee. Uh, submit. Boom, they're happy with that. I probably could have got less, that's it. And what is he on? He's on 105 a week, wow negotiate because then I can move uh, Tommy is it Tommy Asco down into the uh, the second team so Callum Chambers probably move Callum Chambers back to a defender so okay they want important again okay that's fine three years okay except we don't want a release clause they don't okay so he's on 105 but he's important so I might be able to get that down to uh, I'm going to say 80,000. I better offer a tire, let's say 20,000. Yeah, that's fine. Well, in the case, we've got two players there which I'm happy with. Uh, so let's slot them into this squad. Right, into the squad, that's what I want. So, Rosano and Tommy has to. Or Mbabu. Boom. Then I can drop them two down to the second team. Da, 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 da. Yeah, because he's only got 67 pace chambers. Why is he at the right back? Where is 75? So if I ready the defender, holdings a defender. Where's Chambers? Where's he gone? There you are. We've also got... I forgot about Ben White. Are you playing in the first team? I don't think he is, is he? No, tomorrow in Gabriel. Okay, so I, I'm happy with that squad, that, that first team there. It's looking very strong. At least they're all 80 rate, apart from David, but David's phenomenal, 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 yeah, you know what I mean, <laughs> that P word. Okay, so it's the final game of the episode against Spurs, it's an interesting one, it's the uh, North London Derby, is it North London Derby? I think so, we'll just call it the Derby Derby, although it's not Derby because we're Derby, if that makes sense. Um, I sorted out the instructions, so hopefully that'll work. And hopefully this, this new squad will run a muck through them all. We will see. And my battery's low. Just as my man... Oh, never mind. He's uh, lost it. I better put my controller on charge. Give me a second. Arsenal, my Spurs even. There we go. We're on charge. We're all good. It's all gravy. A return to game. Freaking hell. What a tackle. David. Boom. Get in there. What a start. I think that I'm liking this team. I think those two signings have just completed it. Although, we've not seen Mbappé just yet. I don't think he's had a touch of the ball. But, Lorenzo has. And Lorenzo seems really good. I like his control. And that pass for him. And then David just runs into that space. Just taps it on a little bit. And then just creates enough space to get it past Luke. Is it Lloris in goal? 12 goals in 13 matches. I tell you, this signing is the best signing I've ever brought, I think. Oh, now Odegaard's got it. Vroom. David is free. Touches it, controls it, shoots it, knocks it in. This guy. Honestly, guys, if you need a striker, please buy this man. He's brilliant. He's just knocking him in for fun now. Perfect. Look at them all. Look at them all running. Right. Who we got? Who we got? 
I see you, Saka. I see you, Saka. Maybe not. Alright, come back. Pate, you're too far up. Look at him run. Can't believe I nearly sold Pate. And uh, I want to get the ball just to throw the ball at his head every chance I get. Get that cross. Ooh, right. This is it, guys. We get to try it again. So, right, he's number five, isn't he? There he is. Okay, so if we put the ball about there again, and we do that, we do that. He's running in. He's running in. Ooh, nearly. He got the jump. Just, I think, whoever was marking him put him off a little bit. I can't believe I was going to sell him, like, at the beginning of the, the, the series. Holy shite! Where the frick did that come from? I didn't... I was just testing the waters, like, like if it went in, it goes in. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a goal. That pass, oh no, I thought, you know, I've got all that space, why not? And boom, if he just goes in beautifully done. Look at that. Uh, that defender, oh, I thought you were running away from it for a second, but he wasn't. Lagath is happy and glad to see. There he is, Mbappe, look at that, he managed to get the ball. Oh, he's done it. Am I offside? Am I offside? I thought I was offside. I was offside. Oh no, it's half time. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't get past Mbabu, could you? And now look at that. They've had to draw Kane out of the box, which is good. Kind of. Until he goes to that. But Van der Beek's there. And now they're offside. Haha. <laughs> Get in. The tactics are working. Van der Beek. What's he going to do? <laughs> do, 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 do. Ain't no chance at what's it? This is a weird celebration. Is it a frog or something? I don't understand the point of it, but it makes me laugh. Tottenham ain't coming back again now. They were showing he's the best club in London at the minute. Look at that. I'm well proud of this team that I've built. I was worried that when I was coming back to record the episode, that I would have forgotten how everyone plays and how to play this and whatnot, but they, they've just fitted back on like a glove brilliantly. Oh, damn it, they were a to score one, weren't they? No, I'm not taking part in off. I need him for corners. Couldn't do anything about that. My fault, I kept swapping defenders and bringing them out of position. Like, I shouldn't have brought number six out. Uh, to, is number six? I can't think of who he is. Gabriel. I shouldn't have brought him out because he was marking Kane. So that goal was my fault. What a perfect defensive team. Cut Lorenzo, David. Oh, okay, we're going to Saka. Not who I wanted to go to, but it'll do. I've passed that the wrong way then. Damn it. Ooh! Holy hell, they nearly scored an own goal then. I've made a mistake. Don't bring Tamori out too far. Run back. Look at him running back. He's got his England team, mate. He's... Well done, Tamori. Oh, not... Well done, Tamori. Damn it. We'll give him that goal because they played well. It's a uh, consolation goal. We've still got two goals cushion in like what a couple of seconds. Unless we couldn't do what we did against Man City, could we? Could we? We could! Holy hell Saka! What a 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 I don't know, what a goal, what a run, what a not even a comeback, just to add insult to injury. We'll let you have the goal spares, and then Saka will just... Look at that. Those two defenders just ran straight into each other. And he just... Hey, Monster Energy, taste the difference. I'm drinking Monster at the minute. And Saka just finesses that to bottom right corner. Well, or bottom left corner, depending on where you're looking. All right, guys, I am going to end this episode here. I have to say, that was a perfect return to uh, the series. Although we are at the FA Cup, it, we made up for it with the two wins against Spurs and City. Um, pardon me. That now puts us 12 points out of uh, first position. And we're only two point, one point even, out of the top four. So it's not looking too bad. I reckon we might be able to, I don't mind holding this fifth position if needs be, but I reckon we can move up into the top four at some point. Especially if we've got games against... 
Um, so we've got wolves. Have we got any of the top four? Uh, ah, Arsenal versus Chelsea. So we could take points from Chelsea potentially. Um, we've already taken points from Man City and Spurs. Uh, Brentford. Uh, don't know if there's anyone else. Oh, Liverpool. So yeah, so next episode or the next few episodes that we've got a chance to take a couple of points from the top four. Uh, we've already done two out of four, so the next two we could do as well. And we hope they will cement ourselves in the way. So, if you have enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like. And if you are not um, subscribed to the channel already, please do. It will help massively with me trying to get to 300 subs before the end of the year. I know we've still got a whole year to go, but I like to put it out there, what my target is. Um, so, yeah. So, thank you very much, guys. And I will see you on in the next episode. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.